Hello. <clears throat> Welcome to your reading, Taurus. This is going to be for anybody with strong Taurus placements in their birth chart. Go ahead and tap in. I hope all is well. I hope you guys are all having a very fun Sunday. I don't know why, but I just heard this song come together from the Beatles. Come together right now over me. Some of you guys can be beat up, like some of you guys may be, some of you guys can be a Beatles fan because after getting that song, I'm hearing the song, um, don't let me down, don't let me down, nobody ever loved me like she does, like she does. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard that song from the Beatles, Don't Let Me Down. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Alright, let me put this. Alright. Oh, Jesus. This chair really irritates me. What are you doing, bud? You want to come in here? What happened? You're scared? Okay, baby. Alright. My son. Give me one moment. Alright, sorry about that. I told my son that if he wants to watch his tablet that he cannot be in here because his tablet is just way too loud and I don't want any interference. Alright, Holy Spirit, guides, God, Holy Spirit, please take me to the white light of tarot. Please shut any door that is not of you. Please protect me of... Any evil hexes, curses, spells, bad juju, hoodoo, anything that can destroy me or is trying to destroy me, my channel, my family, my health, my wealth, my overall abundance, and my well-being. I ask that you return any and all negative energy being sent my way to destroy me and get some mind back to sender to send it back out into the universe i do not want it i do not accept it i do not allow it i am always powerful and strong for all of my power and strength comes from god and no one but god himself and what do we have for taurus for taurus for taurus for the month of august okay so the rest of August, what's going on with Taurus now and until the end of August for Taurus? What's the energy? Accepting came out. Give me one moment. All right, guys. Sorry about that. That was my other child bouncing around on a ball. Okay. Confident, accepting, confident. Give me one more. One more for Taurus. One more for Taurus. What's the energy for Taurus this month? Now, okay, two cards came up. Okay. overwhelmed and joyful okay Taurus so accepting came out confident came out distracted came out and sensual 
So distracted and sensual came out together. Okay. All right, give me one moment. All right, sorry about that. My husband is wanting to watch our show. We are binge watching Orange is the New Black. We've been watching it lately. Okay. I'm going to see. Um, so accepting came out. Confident came out. Distracted and central came out together. So I feel like. There can be somebody around you, Taurus, that is distracted with sex. Like, somebody can have a sex addiction. Maybe somebody seeks sex for attention, affection, love, acceptance. Okay, somebody can be, like, overly confident or something. But there's a need for somebody to accept something. Like you're accepting something or you need to accept something. Someone is accepting something. And it's like somebody needs to be confident. Like someone's confident with this acceptance. Like they're confident. Like, okay, I accept you. And they're very confident about it. Accepting. Step out of your comfort zone. So there's a need for some of you guys to step out of your comfort zone or somebody is stepping out of their comfort zone and it's like they may be afraid to do that and they may, somebody's lacking confidence in regards to stepping out of their comfort zone and the reason why is because they're afraid that they're not going to be accepted. Or maybe somebody is starting to step out of their comfort zone to be accepted. Maybe somebody's stepping out of their comfort zone. They're gaining more confidence. Maybe somebody is starting to like distract themselves with certain things. And like maybe they're just like not really into sex and they don't want to have sex. So they're distracting themselves. What is this energy? Confidence? Confident? You are good enough. This is... Uh, full moon and Virgo energy. You guys can be dealing with a Virgo. Taurus, you can be dealing with a Virgo. Okay. Or like maybe this month now, like Virgo season. Okay. Uh, maybe like during Virgo season, maybe like you're going to get your confidence. Okay. Or uh, maybe there's a need for you to... Um, accept somebody or somebody needs to accept you distracted a fiery climax approaches so you're distracted by either either like i said e you're 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 being distracted by either sex or you're being distracted by an aries like there can be an aries that's distracting you clarify sensual why is sensual here or Taurus conclusions are within reach so you may be finding out something about sex like someone's having sex someone's having sensual thoughts or something or somebody is being distracted from you because they're having sex with somebody else Conclusions are within reach. You're very close to achieving your goal. So Taurus, maybe you, maybe you have been, for some of you guys, maybe you guys are holding back on sex or maybe somebody is holding off on sex. Maybe somebody is, uh, practicing abstinence maybe somebody is practicing abstinence and they don't want to have sex right now let me turn the light on because it's too dark okay it's a little bit better a little better but um somebody can be practicing abstinence right now and like maybe like you know you know not having sex maybe they're they're saving themselves 
for the right person, okay? And maybe this person is trying to like distract themselves, okay? I'm gonna get into this deeper with the tarot, okay? Let me see what's going on. Um, I went to I went to take this little booklet off and I thought there was another booklet and when I went to like take this off I saw the seven of swords. This has to do with lying, cheating, stealing. This also had this also has to do with, you know, a fear of plans not working out. Okay. Alright, angel spirits, guides, archangels, ancestors, what messages do you have for Taurus? What is this accepting energy? This accepting energy, this need, what is this need to step out of comfort zone? What is this need? What? Why does Taurus need to step out of their comfort zone? This is about money. This can be about money. This can be about needing to save money. You need to save money. You need to stop. Set, uh, you, you you need to stop spending so much money. This is also, you know, you need to release something. There's a need for you to release something. Okay, Taurus, that's you, the Hierophant. Okay, this can be about. Uh, you need to release control. You need to accept the fact that you're controlling or somebody is controlling. They can be controlling money, holding on to something. Okay. Tell me more about this energy, this accepting energy. For Taurus, for Taurus. What is this accepting energy? Ooh, that flew out. The hangman fell right on my lap. Yeah, so... This is a need for you to let go. Stop hanging around. Stop stop holding on to something. Stop just hanging around. Tell me more. What is this? The Four of Pentacles. What is the Four of Pentacles? What is the Four of Pentacles? Yeah. This is about possibly like needing needing to slowly, you know, go towards your pentacle, go towards stability. Um, this is something that you're very stressed out about, okay? This can be about money. This can be about needing to go towards a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody's coming towards you or you're going towards somebody that you view as the Empress. Okay, this is Libra energy, but this can be a, a mother figure, Taurus. This can be a mother figure. You can be going towards your mom. Your mom can be coming towards you. Uh, you may be wanting to offer somebody stability somebody that you see as as you know just nurturing caring loving okay but like there's stress there's stress someone's broke someone's broke someone can be stressed somebody can be feeling left out in the cold someone can be feeling a little bit lonely okay tell me more about this energy Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the Four of Pentacles. The Six of Wands is in the reverse in this deck, and like my cards are never in the reverse, so that's so weird. But this has to do with like a missed opportunity, um, a loss of victory, okay? This can be about either like letting go of step, like letting go of a job or holding on to a job, holding on to your money, uh, ho holding on to your money, holding on to your money very closely. Or this is about you know holding on to a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that you view, you know you see this person as like the Empress, like this person does everything. So 
Spirit is saying, tell me about the Four of Pentacles. What is this release? Yeah, it's like somebody's lying or somebody feels like, it, it, it's like, somebody is really thinking and wondering about a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, Taurus, you can be thinking about a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, you can be thinking about another earth sign like yourself. Or this is you thinking about work. Want, thinking about, you know, your work, holding on to your money. But then I'm seeing the Seven of Swords and it's kind of like someone wants you to just hang around and get comfortable. Because it's like they feel like maybe if you go back to work that things are not going to work out. Like things are going to fail. Why is this? Why? Why? Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Fool. Like they think it's a bad decision. They think it's a foolish decision. They think that you're they like somebody feels like you're jumping. You're jumping in too quick. Like they think you're jumping in too quick into a situation. Tell me about the hangman. Why is the hangman here? Yeah, it's like. You want to cut the whole, like, look. Okay. The hangman. This person is hanging on a tree upside down. Like, this person is just hanging there, waiting, chilling, okay? And then the sword is clarifying that. Taurus, you need to take this sword and cut that rope off and free yourself, okay? This is about releasing a release. Either you're releasing yourself from a certain situation okay or someone is releasing you you're releasing something there's a need for you to release something or hold on to something but i feel like in regards to work i feel like a lot of you guys taurus like some of you guys want to go out some of you guys want to get out of your house some of you guys want to go back to work some of you guys want to go visit family members you just want to get out Okay. Yeah, it's like some of you guys want to get out in nature. You guys want to feel more independent. Okay. A lot of you guys are really looking good, feeling good. Okay. A lot of yellow. I'm picking up on a lot of yellow. Okay. The Empress Yellow. The Knight of Pentacles, yellow, 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 yellow. I'm picking up on the color yellow. I'm I'm getting like like sacral and sacral and sacral and sacral and solar plexus chakra vibes. Okay. The color yellow has to do with confidence, okay, sacral, solar plexus. Some of you guys can be having problem with your penis getting up, down, okay. If you're a female, some of you guys may be having um, dry problems, okay. Some of you guys can be having like stomach issues, gut health problems. Like some of you guys can be having IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, erectile dysfunction, low libido for some of you guys. But with all of the yellow that I'm seeing, but with all of the yellow that I'm seeing, it's like somebody is like feeling very good right now and they're they they like they i don't know somebody feels like either you're distracted either you're being distracted or they're being distracted but it's like somebody wants to get it on taurus someone wants attention they want that sensual attention tell me about um this confident energy you are good enough 
the moon in the reverse, okay? You may be coming out of a depression, okay? You may be coming out of a depression. Somebody is coming out of darkness, okay? Somebody can also be getting, like, some karma, okay? It can be a Virgo. A Virgo can be getting karma, or a Virgo can be trying to send you some bad energy or you can be trying to send a virgo some bad energy sorry about that that was my alarm um but taurus i'm i'm picking up on this energy where like you don't want things to be so dark okay it's like you want to make somebody happy you want things to be fair okay this also has to do with fortune okay the will of fortune so there can be a virgo around you that may have been feeling kind of depressed and in the dark about like their fortune timing their luck what direction to go like direction okay and this can be in regards to anything this can be you know in regards to work relationship family dynamic legal issues whatever tell me more page of pentacles and the world okay with the page of the pen with the page of pentacles and the world and now i'm seeing the three of pentacles this is kind of an energy of like someone's looking for money they're trying to find out where money is going okay with the three of pentacles i'm getting like work okay work okay these people are like talking okay about like a work situation this can be like a work situation an investigation a solution something okay and with this seven of swords this can be about like stealing cheating something with the four of pentacles that I saw about holding on to your money, your finances, somebody could have stolen money from you. Some of you guys could have stolen money from somebody. I don't know. Okay. Take it however it resonates. But the seven of swords has to do with like lying, cheating, stealing, deception. This also has to do with like, you know, making plans that you feel might fail or not work out. This is like doubt, okay? This is like the energy of doubt, not trusting a situation, not trusting somebody. Doubt, lack of confidence, okay? Tell me about the Will of Fortune, the Page of Cups. So it's going to take some time for somebody to get a good message or like for like something to come full circle this can be about a car okay um somebody can work on cars somebody can be working on cars but there's also an energy of um somebody can be manifesting like a new car like a gift or something This is also like moving forward, traveling, traveling, spending time on fixing a car, spending time on traveling. The tower, scorpionic energy. The chariot is cancer energy. The tower is Scorpio energy.
So there's something here about like in time, in time, someone's gonna receive a powerful message that's gonna help them move forward towards, towards change, towards change. And what do you know? Remember before when the Six of Wands was in the reverse and I had to flip it over because none of my cards in this deck is in reverse. No card is in the reverse. I don't leave my cards in the reverse ever. And now this one is back at the bottom of the deck. So whatever this change is that you and this person are going towards, it can be a Virgo, okay? But this also has to do with you possibly making some type of change. Either you are a Virgo that you're dealing with are making some type of change. Are this, like, you need to change things with a Virgo? What is this? Yeah, this person could have left you out in the cold or they feel like they were left out in the cold. Why? Why? Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Taurus, some of you guys could have walked away. Some of you guys can be walking away from a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Like some of you guys could have left a Cancer Scorpio Pisces out in the cold or this is an energy of like you. You may have been very emotional in the past. Like I, I feel like there's an energy of somebody being emotional. Like there was a lot of stress, poverty, somebody could have been very broke and like emotional. Somebody was very emotional in the past in regards to their stability, their finances. This could, could have been like the recent past, okay? What caused this stress? What caused this stress, this emotional stress? Money, finances, your stability. Yeah, this, this was something that you didn't see coming, okay? Tell me about the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is clarified with the Nine of Cups. And then I'm seeing the Two of Cups at the bottom. So it's like... You or somebody may have been wanting a connection, but it's like they're regretting their wish or whatever it was. Somebody could have been wishing, doing spell work, wishing, manifesting, praying, spell work, something for a relationship to come together. But it's like someone feels like it's not going to work out ever like a connection like someone feels like you know it's it's never going to be the passion is gone like someone feels like the passion is gone like they can't work together or maybe maybe somebody feels like all you want is sex or maybe all they want is sex But there's like a very quick, fast energy. Like there's a fast energy here. A quick energy with the Knight of with the Knight of Wands here. Like this is like fast energy. And then I saw the Page of Swords too. Yeah, so this is kind of about giving. Ooh, someone's putting a stop at giving. So somebody could have decided to stop having sex with you, or you stopped having sex with somebody. Um, if this isn't about sex this can be about money like you're not giving money to anybody they're not giving money to you it's like someone's holding on to money their finances or sex or something clarify distracted tell me about this fiery climax 
this is full moon in aries energy two of wands yeah this is fire energy two of wands so somebody is distracted thinking about sex or something tell me more i just heard cock blocker like somebody can be a cock blocker <laughs> Um, this is an energy of somebody someone's thinking someone is thinking of coming back around to offer you a cup of love and this is going to make you feel happy this can be about family too like this doesn't necessarily have to be about love and stuff Someone can also be sick here because I'm seeing I'm seeing the um, four of swords. Someone can be sick. This can be somebody like maybe somebody is like sick. Like maybe they have sick thoughts. Maybe somebody is distracting themselves with with sick thoughts. Or maybe like when you leave, like this person has sexual thoughts of you maybe when you leave somebody has sexual thoughts of you or maybe when they leave you have sexual thoughts of them it's like you walked away from somebody are you neat like i feel like there's also an energy of somebody needs to leave Someone needs to leave because staying is making them sick. Or, or, or it's like whatever somebody is thinking, it's making them sick. Tell me about the Four of Swords. And when I'm seeing the Four of Swords, I remember saying something about erectile dysfunction. Somebody can have some type of, I don't know. Someone can have erectile dysfunction. Someone can have an STD, an infection, bacterial vaginosis. Someone's pH balance can be thrown off and someone can smell like fish. Oh God, what it? I just heard, I just heard ceviche. Someone can smell like ceviche, okay? Clarify the Four of Swords. What is the Four of Swords for Taurus? Virgo, Gemini energy. The devil this is capricorn energy there can be a capricorn around you if someone's doing dark magic somebody is doing taurus somebody is doing dark magic and this dark magic whatever they're manifesting it can be making you sick And here is the Ace of Wands. This has to do with sex. This has to do with the birth of a child. Somebody can be... Oh, the Three of Swords. Somebody can be manifesting and doing some type of spell work to destroy your sex life. Somebody can be trying to like mess up your sex life or somebody can be trying to like manifest this. Yeah, someone's doing like work. Like you can be doing this to them or they're doing this to you Taurus Virgo Capricorn someone's doing spiritual work and this can be this can be on your sex life what is the ace of wands yes someone is trying to cause problems in a sex life or somebody needs to learn how to have sex someone doesn't know how to have sex it's like maybe this is why they're blocked off and maybe this is why they're defensive and they, they, they just don't want to have sex. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, it's like you want to celebrate or they want to celebrate with you, but somebody doesn't know how to make it work sexually. 
because I'm seeing sensual here. I'm seeing sensual here. So there's a situation going on with sex. Somebody can be overwhelmed, okay, when it comes to having sex. I did see the Four of Swords. Somebody could have had an accident. They could have came out of the hospital. Okay, this can be you, somebody that you're dealing with, but somebody could have like gotten out of the hospital or something and it's like now they want to have sex. But like someone is scared to have sex because I don't know, for whatever reason they don't want to have sex. They're scared of having sex. It can be it can be it can be something in the past that you did or they did where you're just like, "No, I don't want to have sex with you right now." I'll think about it. Tell me about these conclusions, Central. Yeah. Nine of Ten of Cups. Conclusions are within reach. So there's something here. So there's something here. Conclusions are within reach. This has to do with walking away from certain family members. <clears throat> Tell me more. Yeah, there's some type of unfinished business. I'm also seeing 1010. Okay, 10 of cups, 10 of swords in the reverse. So you have unfinished business or somebody feels like there's unfinished business in regards to a family dynamic. Can be a Virgo. Um or maybe you're realizing that somebody like maybe your may, conclusions are within reach, okay? And this this conclusion has to do with sex, possibly. Like maybe this person, like maybe you're, maybe you're realizing, maybe you're starting to realize that, um, maybe you're starting to realize that somebody was trying to betray you, or like you were trying to betray somebody. And they blocked it. King of Wands. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So, Taurus, there's unfinished business between you and a fire sign and between you and a water sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius and Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, okay? I'm also seeing the devil again. This is Capricorn energy, but but this is like toxic. Like toxic, someone feels bounded and chained or something. What is a ten, what is a ten of swords in the reverse? Gemini. Yeah, this has to do with sex. This has to do with sex. The lovers. What is this? Strength? Leo energy? Maybe there's some type of unfinished business. Either Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Yo, Sagittarius. But there's also some type of unfinished business with either a Gemini or a Leo. Or some of you guys can be having sex with a Leo or somebody that has a Leo in their birth chart. Cardo. Six of Swords. Yeah, I like traveling, traveling, somebody can be traveling while they're at work to go find love. Yeah, third party energy, third party energy. Clarify the, clarify the three of swords. Mm -hmm. The star Aquarius energy. Someone's in regret. There's somebody that's in regret. Somebody could have been sneaky. Someone could have been distracted having sex with other people. Someone could have even possibly gotten somebody else pregnant because I did see the Ace of Wands earlier. And the Ace of Wands, uh, that has to do, Ace of Wands has to do with, um, like the birth of a child, okay? 
yeah queen of wands aries Leo, sagittarius energy but this is also the energy of a mistress okay tell me about